Okay, a couple of uh, housekeeping chores relating to uh, your settings. So to learn more about the phone, let's turn it on. Open it up. Go to settings. Uh, scroll down till you get to storage. Click that. Now, the f my phone is one of the first uh, generations of Moto G's. Yours is a little bit later, so yours is going to be very similar to mine. The phone has inter internal storage of 8 gigabytes. That's what it you, you could put 8 gigabytes on it. Most of the storage is taken up by your apps and uh, your operating system. Uh, so if you don't have a whole lot of pictures on, on your phone or a lot of music on your phone, you're not going to use up a lot. Okay, so it tells me that I've got Four, 407 gigabytes left. So I've got half of my storage left. Your phone is one of the newer ones. So you've got a slot on your phone. It's probably inside by the, where the battery is, probably. Or it could be on the side. I don't know where they are. Uh, to add an extra memory card. So you could increase that. But you probably never even used the, the 8 gigabytes. Okay, so don't worry about that. It just shows you how much you got available left. It tells you how much each app, each thing is using, how much it's used. Now, the only other thing that's kind of slick about this is towards the bottom, it says catched data. That's the memory that the apps apps use to store stuff, okay? You want to clean that out every once in a while. Uh, it's, it doesn't lose any of the memory, doesn't affect your phone, but it will give you just a little bit more memory up here available. So I only have, I cleaned it last night, and I've got 2.28 megabits today already. So to clean it, you do it like this. This will clear the data for all apps. It's not going to hurt nothing. Don't worry about it. Just say okay. Now, you don't have to do that very often. I might do it once every two or three months, something like that. No big deal. Okay, that's it. Let's get back into settings. All the way to the bottom, about phone. This tells you everything you want to know about your phone. First off, the top one is system updates. Now that doesn't mean updates like you just got on the notification bar this morning. This is for the operating system, okay? It should be already up to date. That should be no problem. Okay, it's checking. And it's telling me my device is up to date. Okay? Status. It's going to say your battery is not charging. It's not. Your battery level. Your network. Mine says cricket. Yours is going to say AT&T. Gives you your signal strength. Gives you the type of data network you're on. Now, since you have a newer phone than mine, yours is probably going to say uh, 4G Lite. Mine is not a light phone. Mine is a Hodgepus phone, which is a different kind of data. But it's just as fast, so... It's not a big deal. So yours may say Hotchibus or Hotchibus Plus, but I think yours will say Light. Next one is service uh, service date. It means it's you, your phone is on. Roman? No, you're not Roman. No, I don't think you are. I'm pretty sure you're not in Houston. Uh, mobile network status. Well, I'm connect. It says disconnected. Why does it say that? Because it's I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi network. I'm not connected to my Cricket data plan okay now a phone number this gives your phone number and then the rest of the stuff down here is just addresses for stuff like your router and you don't need to worry about none of this stuff one thing towards the bottom it gives your serial number so if the phone company ever wants your serial number for your phone here it is right here okay okay so let's go back I think that's about it. We're not going to get into any other settings right now. That's that's all you need to know. We're going to we still need to go over uh, the disp the apps and the display. But we'll save that for another day because I want to show you how to move apps around on the screen, how to brighten it up, and what I use for my settings. Okay. So have a good day. Bye.